Nobody can keep quiet. Nobody can do it. You can keep quiet for a while. You see? Because the I who is keeping quiet is itself not quiet. Please understand. The I who is keeping quiet is usually a blend of being and conditioning. First the feeling I am, unassociated. This one itself is grace. The feeling I am, we call conscious presence. It's not the person. And then identification with the body come. And then the sense, I am this, I am me. Some context for I am arises. And the I am starts to feel, I am this. I'll take care of this, this is number one. Like this. Then the one I love most is number two. And then three, four, and then the rest. This is the, this is the perverted I. And as long as that is the, the ruling, the presiding force in this body, then there will do be trouble. It will try to do, to do. But until it understands that it is consciousness itself and not the person, it will never succeed. Of course, the I that consciousness is, is also playing through the ego. And that's also the expression of consciousness. But it's a very slow evolution towards emptiness again. Because it will cling to the identity, I am a person. It won't want to let go of it. So this is why I say nobody can keep quiet. All that can happen is you somehow recognize your true place and there, there is effortless silence. Effortless silence. When you discover that, it doesn't matter if you're speaking or you're climbing a tree or in the middle of the city, there's only silence. Your being is complete silence. Not you keeping silent. This, therefore, I said nobody can see. You can keep quiet for a bit. But the silence which is integral, inherent in your being, you cannot do by effort. It simply is this. You are silence and grace and peace. But when you have the feeling of individuality, personal individuality, then there must be effort. And that effort will not be consistent. It will not be constant. It will be waves of success, failure, sometimes getting better slowly. But I point you uh, directly to that which is behind the mind, which is not contained in the bubble of the mind. You are already, and I will show you, the satsang is here to show you that you are already this, because it is you who are watching your mind. You are capable of observing your mind, tendencies, emotions, time, intellect, memory, all of this means nothing if you are not the one observing them. But you have to be conscious that you are the witness of them. When you are clear about this, then the second question can be asked, if you can locate the witness itself. And this must be direct experience. Once you know that, for sure, inside, silence becomes effortless for you. As long as you feel that you are a doer, I am the doer, I'm, I did this, I can meditate for four hours without getting up, no, you will not do it. For a while, because we are unable to embrace the higher meaning, to say, keep quiet, it is helpful. Even for the ego, be quiet, it is helpful. It does something. But ultimately, you have to come completely out of that state, into your natural state, where silence is natural and effortless. Then whether you are talking or singing, uh, asleep or awake, that silence is... It is here now, but somehow it appears as though it is eclipsed by our fascination with our projection and uh, our limited identity. It's absorbing most of the energy from the consciousness, is being pushed into the identity, into the personality. That's it.